The white dots that we see here are 60 infrasound stations. They monitor the globe for atmospheric or shallow underground nuclear explosions. Such explosions create infrasound waves, low-frequency waves inaudible to the human ear. This event here could be a volcanic eruption, a storm or an explosion, or creating infrasound waves that are registered by our infrasound stations. Such a station consists of several elements. This one has eight. The distance between the elements can vary from one to three kilometers. This is the best setup for trying to identify and locate the source of the infrasound waves. Each array element includes pipe structures to reduce the surrounding noise and amplify the signals. Filters at the end of these pipes prevent animals and dirt from entering them. When acoustic waves reach an infrasound station, the waves travel through these pipes to an infrasound sensor called a microbarometer. This is located in a vault at the center of each array element. It transforms the infrasound waves into electrical impulses. Each sensor transmits the signals to a central recording facility by radio or by fiber optics. This setup uses radio connections. At the facility, computers record the signals and prepare them for data transmission via satellite link to the CTBTO in Vienna. Everything proceeds automatically. And here we see the entire process again. Infrasound waves arrive at the station, are registered by the individual sensors and transmitted as electrical signals via a radio connection to the central facility and from there by satellite to the CTBTO in Vienna. There the data are analyzed to clarify the nature of the event.